Our beautiful grandma alligator Allison has built her nest here at Australia Zoo. And now she's in a deep trance. Yes. Look at this. Here she goes. How you laying your eggs, sweetheart? There's about ten of them already. You can see she's dug the perfect nest chamber. She's got her little feet tucked right under her cloaca to cushion the eggs as they drop down from her cloaca. Here she is, all arched up. And watch her belly. She has another contraction and squeezes. Here she goes. Here she goes. Watch this. Okay, she's pushing. Clunk. And down it goes. Another one. She's going to have 60 or 70 odd eggs. And she's completely oblivious to me. Hasn't got any idea that I'm here. She's in a trance-like state. Look, her eyes are wide open. You can see her ears back here. Check this out. Look at the flare of her nostrils. Sucking in air, sucks it in. And you watch this. And once she's laid, she'll get so grumpy, really grumpy. Won't be able to come anywhere near her eggs. What a good girl. Well, I love you, sweetheart. She gets her foot right out, absolutely right out, full tilt. And when she rakes it back in, she's very gentle to actually place it with her fingers and her toenails right up against the eggs. You can't hear the eggs juggle, move or shift. Once they drop, that's it, they sit. See the way she gently gets a load and pulls it right in on top of the eggs. Doesn't displace one egg. Doesn't even rattle them. Amazing how she could be so gentle. Look at this. See the way she's juggled it in there? Well, I, I better bolt. I better pull back out. Because the very moment she comes out of this trance, she's going to have me for lunch. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! What Allison doesn't know is that her eggs will never hatch. They're infertile. And here at the Australian Reptile Park near Sydney, they're helping us fix that situation. They're giving us a big male to mate with our lovely female alligators. There's just one catch. We have to catch him ourselves. Come on, big boy. Big charge. Hey, sweetheart. Come on. Here you go. Come on, big fella. No, no, get out of it, little packet. Come on, big fella. Just like we see in the wild, they really are fierce competitors around food. And we're gearing up. We've got our Australia Zoo elite crocodilian capture team. And we're going to go in and try and lasso the biggest male in here. It's still feeding time. And to these captive alligators all around us, humans mean food. The bloke we're after has managed to shoot out of the main pond. He's played right into our hands, caught up between two fences, the ideal place for capture. He hasn't got room to move, and the range is perfect for slipping a rope around his top jaw. Two of them, in case one comes loose. Wait till I get mine in position. Open up. The jaw's open, he grabs the rope, and we've got him. Now it's time to work fast. These tough old dinosaurs can survive almost anything except okay, too much stress. One. Okay, team, have to come around this way. The Australia Zoo capture team are amongst the finest experts on the face of the earth and we all pull together at the one time. Stress is of paramount significance. He doesn't even death roll, it's too quick. We just keep dragging him up inch by inch up the bank until we can get him into a position where we can use people power to hold him down. There's no way knowing we use drugs or tranquilizers on an alligator like this. Up he goes, up he goes. Push him up, team, and wait. Here we go. The team will zoom in on him. Pin him down using people power. Alligators are mechanically strong, very, very strong. Once we get his little legs up, we're going to have to try and restrain that tail and tie the top jaw ropes off to a tree and hold him in one position until we can all get in there and use our strength to overpower him and get him to where we want to get him. Steady, steady. What a great team. They just make it so smooth and quick. 
which is best on the alligator. Up. He's the heavy and strong. Look at him. What a beauty. Big, buffy male. Have a go at the size of his head. Okay, push. It takes every single ounce of energy and strength to get him up and over the fence. He's a big, buffy male, all right. Legs. I got one. It's still feeding time, and all this activity's really got the other gators interested. And Terry, you can stay. Everyone else needs to get the crate, get it over the fence right here. With 40 other inquisitive alligators still thinking it's feeding time, we have to keep the big boy under wraps and prepare the box for the long journey back to Australia Zoo. <laughs> I'm just glad you got these short shorts out. <laughs> We're going to need as many blokes as you can spare pulling on the ropes. Yep. It's a lot easier to bring the box to the alligator rather than the other way around. Great. Put the weight on him. At first he doesn't like the box, but once he's seen it, we can cut the rope so he can travel unrestrained with as little stress as possible. Okay, and go. Pull. Push, push, push. Push. That's it. Okay, hold! With the other alligators still convinced that human action means food, we're moving as fast as we can to box up our big bull before they call everyone's bluff and move in for a closer look. Bolts. Smooth as a zipper. How are we looking, Mike? As staff from the reptile park keep trying to push back the increasingly oh, determined yeah, alligators, we have to carry the box and our new bull through the water. Back, keep, it frank, keep dropping back. Keep sliding back, sliding back. You right, Toby? Yes, Steve. This is actually a critical time in the capture. We've got to stay in the water. But we're in the alligator's territory, and where they are, the dominant force. They're the king predators, and we can't afford to forget that. Ooh, all our splashing and thrashing around is starting to excite the alligators. We try to pick up the pace and move through quicker. The team from the Australia Reptile Park are really good at keeping the alligators at bay. We're getting close. Have a go, they followed us all the way to land. But once on land, we just gotta get him over a couple of fences and we're free from attack from other alligators. Okay. Got a couple of big blokes over this side. Just hold, just hold. We've been looking forward to this for a long time. Our first big breeding male alligator, safely tucked up in a traveling box for the 600 mile road trip north to Australia Zoo. Back home. And before we take him off the truck, there's a safety check to make sure he's handled the journey without any problems. Okay, down. He's okay physically, but no doubt about it, he didn't like the experience one little bit. He's grumpy too. Okay, nice and gentle, pull him out. All the way, keep going, nice and gentle, nice and gentle. He's blind in this eye. It's completely gone. Let him go, let him go. One back for the alligator, a solid tail swipe to express his displeasure. Listen to that growl. He hates this, but we have to tie his jaws again so we can give him a good once over. Any new animal in Australia Zoo gets a thorough health check before going into quarantine. Rightio, Wes, I need to see his eye. So that eye's definitely he's blind. It's an injury from other alligators in his old home. So his nictitating membrane's good. Just lift his head up a bit. Got a rotten one there, which I don't think we need to treat. You can see it's real. Got him, Wes? Yep. I gotta get under him. I gotta get underneath him. Just like in the wild, captive alligators compete for food, mates, or okay. territory. And any beast this big will carry a few honorable scars you of battle. Reach the other side of the pond. Keep coming. 
Yeah, back off, Brendan. He's about to experience his new territory. Okay, back that top jaw rope off. Cut it. This is a little dangerous. It always is. Quite often, releasing the alligator Boy, is as nerve-wracking as the capture. Yeah. Okay, Wes, get in a better position. Get off him, get off him, get off him. Wes, get ready to go. We're in critical point here. Get out, Kels. Wes will get the rope. Everyone, out. This one, Wes. We're good. That'll, that'll be great. Okay. 